What's up YouTube? Politics Gaming here, and today I am going to be playing more uh, Geopolitical Simulator 4. Um, I haven't played this for a while, um, I've just been really playing like World of Warships and uh, Hearts of Iron. Um, but um, after a couple people uh, really just said, hey, you need to start making more um, geopolitical, geopolitical Simulator content, I was just like, oh, okay, okay. Um, so, uh, today I'm going to be playing as Turkey, uh, as you know, at the recording of this video last night, um, there was a military coup in Istanbul and in Ankara, and they tried to take over the, the government, and, um, the president, I can't remember his name, um, dude that looks like this, <laughs> um, he... Uh, really came out and said, and he actually FaceTimed um, the people and said, "You guys need to get out, and you need to confront the military." <clears throat> and if you're wondering, I have no real uh, position. I don't know who is in the right, who is in the wrong. Um, all I know is that there was a coup, and people fought back. About I think 160 people died, maybe a little more, um, but let's go ahead and get down to it. Uh, so, let's go ahead and subsidize the farming sector, <coughs> and maybe we can increase that to about 1%, uh, 9% on our military, so our GDP for <coughs> the agriculture sector is 51 billion. Um, maybe we can increase that. Maybe our goal can be about <clears throat> 55, maybe 60 billion um, dollars. And then active population in agriculture, 29%. Maybe we can, we can increase that, but I think my economy would really. Um, jump if maybe I concentrate on making it uh, more service oriented. Uh, let's go ahead and subsidize advertising. Um, and exonerate it. Traction parts, let's go ahead and subsidize that. Exonerate. Postal service and railway transportation are controlled by the government. Whoa. We got riots. The city is in a quasi-civil war situation. According to our correspondent, who's on location, confrontations began after a police operation to find weapons and drugs had been carried out in a poor neighborhood. The population is not happy about this raid, deemed violent and stigmatizing, and many think that the government totally abandons their neighborhoods. The most violent protesters have arrived downtown and are battling with law enforcement. Alright. Let's go ahead and pause this. Okay. Antalya. Antalya, okay. Let's go ahead. TV channels are state minority shareholder and then postal service and railway transportation are completely nationalized. Um, postal service to work for us. Wow. Let's go ahead. It doesn't look like it's going to cost that much. Let's go ahead and put that at a thousand, fifteen million. Let's do that. Average salary. Let's go ahead and put that at also a thousand. It's about 1.9 million, maybe let's go ahead and put that at 1,500, okay, 12 million, looks good. Um, trade balance, 1.5 billion, and negative, make about 102 million off of it, and its sales go to 425 million, so let's go ahead and exonerate this sector. Um, Publishing, lottery, internet services, uh, 56,000 people work there, 
Um, okay, let's go ahead and concentrate on this riot. Hey, at least it's a... <laughs> Alright, they have the square and the victory square under control. We still have it. Deploy soldiers, I don't think we're gonna... Depending on the police situation, I don't think we need to um, deploy the military yet. Okay, we just have troops in there. We don't need them yet. Maybe... Okay, let's deploy these guys down here. And move these guys in. Let's go ahead and deploy some tear gas. It really... It, it really helps to deploy tear gas. Um, tear gas will disorient the people and you can quickly move in and arrest them before things really get too violent and you start losing uh, police officers. So that's usually what I recommend doing. I don't know what these SWAT vans are supposed to be. They seem... Uh, like, I don't know if you're supposed to like load people in... I don't know. Okay, there's our police HQ. Okay, let's go ahead and do the same thing with these guys. And... We have an open area right there. Let's go ahead and move these guys in and block that off. Because I know people are going to try to get out. Alright. Got someone in the museum. And... Okay, we got tear gas. Alright, um, we got tear gas. Moving in, let's go ahead and arrest this man. Alright, whoa. And get this guy. Beat him down. this guy down. Fighting has begun. Some of our side have been wounded, but... Alright, let's get this guy before... Let's see if this works. Move in. Move in, move in, move in, move in. Alright, let's get this guy. Okay, we just lost a police officer. Let's move in on these people. Okay. Let's put some tear gas on them. Really not wanting to lose control of this situation. Moving on them. Let's check back on this situation. We lost two police officers. Right. As I said, people are moving in. Let's go ahead and arrest them. And let's go ahead and re reinforce these officers. Okay, we lost one officer. Let's go ahead and use some tear gas again. Okay. And stop this guy from getting out. I think there has been a little change, unless it's just because I'm in a more of a Middle Eastern country. Um, hmm. 
looked kind of different. See, that's why I'm proud of uh, Everson for uh, how they've been treating this game. They do seem that they do uh, like to uh, update it. So I think that's awesome. Come on. Let's beat this guy down. Beat him down. Beat him down. Come on. Come on, you can do it. Okay, whatever. I'm gonna put some tear gas on you. There you go. Arrest him. Alright, let's move in on him. Let's put some tear gas on him. He has a weapon. Or no. You have help from 194, this guy has 245. Tear gas should distract him for a minute. Alright, arrested. Move in on him. Move in arrest. Alright. Let's go ahead. Play this. Let's see what happens. Police are clashing. And. Bingo. And the riot is suppressed. We have subdued the rebel movement. There we go. The Turkish flag flies again. No more distractions. Let's go ahead and, and invite Germany before I go ahead and end this off. No. Th All right. Let's make a sales contract and chemical industry. Let's go ahead and put this at about four thousand dollars per ton, and let's slowly move this up. Really? Let's try that again. Chemical industry. Let's move that to 4,000. Let's move that to 3,800. 3,600. 3,400. 3,300. There we go. I think you have to skip to the next day to really see it. Yeah, that's a pretty good contract. Um, not really good for unemployment. Um, profits, particularly profitable. Um, it will strengthen our economy, and we give away a good amount of our production, and let us sell us sell it at a much better price. So that's a pretty good contract. That's where you really want. You want to get above their selling price. Usually the big, the countries that it's a little easier to do that with is uh, Germany, United Kingdom maybe, Japan, United States, um, I don't know about India. Nah, India is pretty poor. They wouldn't be buying a lot. Um, let's look at our military situation. Okay, abolish national service. First law, that's gonna pass. Well done. It's a good you contract. Uh, liberation of the demonstrators, and they're going to be prosecuted. Um, so their attack situation. Eighteen percent of that. Maybe we can lower that down really just start uh, lowering taxes so people can spend more. We get $196 billion from ta tax income. Budget deficit is $12 billion, and our public debt is $264 billion. Changes the level of tax and And 
Maybe we can launch a couple airstrikes and maybe make a military alliance with Iraq. Well, um, thank you guys for watching. Um, I will make a part two. Um, and I kind of, kind of, it is kind of good to kind of start playing this again. Um, well, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Make sure to like and subscribe if you like this video, and uh, make sure to share so I can uh, get better outreach, so I can um, really have the reason to make more content like this. And um, I will hope to see you guys next time. And um, again, go ahead and like and share this. Uh, take care.